Hello, hello, hello everybody, my name is Sean from 2.5 and welcome to a special and huge update video and I mean huge because there's a lots of things to talk about, especially with the projects coming in the the upcoming future, what's going to happen in 2022 and other all kinds of new surprises on the way for the years to come. So uh, I do apologise if I didn't post anything Shorts the Mason's Mirai related or the new Marvel show related, simply because the year was pretty much closing in at the time. And so then I thought to myself, what if I put in both of them into a single video, along with other update videos that, or rather other updates, that I wish to share with you, my fans. Because although um, it's been a pretty long production, especially with the Sean Stimations Be Ride project, so I thought it would only be best if you knew what was going to happen for the channel in the later years of 2022 onwards. And from the list that I wrote down, of which I will be talking about today, is it's pretty much a big list, and I ho I'm hopefully you enjoy it. I'm very sure you will. It may not be to everybody's taste, but I really do hope it's okay here and there. But again, it's your choice. But I really do appreciate all your support for the projects that I've been doing and the series and gameplays that I've been doing lately every single one of you have been absolutely awesome and I I'm very thankful I from everyone here at Sunset Super 5 as well as everyone from the Mass Legion and everyone the Shorts of Patrol thank you so much for giving us all that for giving me all the support and I will prompt and of course I've as I've given you support too which of course oh sorry I'm digressing here but but Main point is, thank you so much for the support. Really do appreciate it. You got you, you guys and gals, you mean everything to me, and I'll continue to surprise you for the years to come. But today, um, um, I will be talking about Short Summation's Mirai, along with what updates is going on, because uh, the second act of season of season two, well, it should be season two anyway, because I mean it's going to be a big series, like uh, pretty much over the three hundred, if not four hundred episode mark to be fair if i'm lucky it's going to reach naruto shippuden levels at this rate with the amount of content that it has to come but um uh, i think i better explain and without any further ado and if everyone is all ready and sitting comfortably let's begin with the updates there is again there's going to be a lot of them but uh i highly suggest watching this video to the end but if if you want to skip to certain points uh i did put a little uh, I, a title on each subject on this video so if there's any subject that um if there's any subject you want to skip to or anything that you really want to know it's right there but if you want to see what kind of progress is going on with the other projects i have in mind then please stay tuned it's going to be absolutely fantastic and please and uh in one of those uh topics i will be talking about a little something that will of course be also be made by you, my fans, my friends, my family, more importantly, and um, what is that you may ask you? What is that you may ask? Well, that's all in one way to find out. So without any further ado, let's get cracking with the list of updates that I have to present to you, my family, today. To start things off, uh, it's another Short Stimations Mirai progress update, and as I've said before in the intro of this video, uh, the second act of season two is right now at the climax of the act, which of course will be moving to act three and then act four, which may um, be a real, real game changer, especially for the Short Stimations franchise. Uh, I do apologize again for not bringing any update videos sooner. It's just while I was doing the climax, pardon me, uh, Oh, dang, Nabby, I think that, that mac and cheese must have really been getting my first. So, so I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, as I was doing the climax of Act 2 of Season 2 of Short Summation to Mirai, uh, a lot of brain brainstorming came in as I was, like, doing all this. And then I f keep pondering to myself, what can I do? How can I uh, ensure that each arc is en met with a satisfying ending, if not a ending that is suitable for the fans of the series? or even anime newcomers, mind you, it took a little bit of thinking, but then after a good a couple of days, just a little couple of days, I was able to create new characters, new villains for the for our heroes to face, along with new allies that our heroes will have all together. But 
Nevertheless, it's all been planned out. Uh, a bit of Act 3 and a chunk of Act 4 has been pre-made beforehand. I just haven't written it down yet because, of course, I have to write down the, the remaining parts of Act 2 before moving on to that. But, um, again, I can guarantee you that Short Summations Me Right is going to be one of the biggest Short Summations series that I've ever done. And I will do my best to making sure that it's original, it's not breaking any copyright laws, that it has a decent story, while still calling back to the old Sean's Domations, but of course that will all have to be retconned because, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think, again, uh, copyright laws would agree with having Super Saiyans in a non-Dragon Ball show, which of course I will highly fix that to a T, no problem. And... Along with short summations me Rai, on the other hand, I've also been thinking on other things that I can do with the short summations franchise to give it a little a, a little kick, one might say. Um in terms of a short summations me Rai movie, uh, that is still in production, that's still in the air, but it is it's gonna be coming at least at the end of the series. There's a little epilogue. So, Short Summations Me Right, it's definitely getting a movie. But along with the Short Summations Me Right movie, we're also going to be, well, also in production, which is what I should say. Um, there is going to be another Short Summations Me Right in production. I may have said this before in other update videos, but this movie will not feature the adventures of Sky, but it will go back to the original Short Summations, which will be retcon for the sake of this movie. And another thing, which I'll get to in a moment. And the title of the movie is, of course, called Short Summations the Movie Dragon World, which, uh, looking back on the characters that have had their own story arc throughout the entire majority of Short Summations, uh, we had a story arc for Sean. We had a story arc for Shauna. We had a story arc for, for Maisie, for Yami... But the only two characters that I didn't really give a proper story up to was Minazuki and Yami. Now, uh, I didn't. It didn't cross my mind at the time because it was on a very short deadline. But uh, those two, um, Minazuki and Skylar, Skylar is getting the Dragon Ball movie. This will give Skylar an emotional journey through this movie, and then eventually. Um, whether it be an OVA or a movie, I will definitely get to a story arc for Minazuki uh, as such. But along with the movies, which I will now get into, as I mentioned earlier, uh, along with the movie, the two movies now in production, as well as a story arc for Minazuki, or even a movie for Minazuki, to be fair, and, of course, the season two progress in general, another idea came to mind that for... Those who have watched the original Short Summations and Short Summations Next, the idea came to me of creating some Short Summations OVAs where it is like basically an abridged version of an arc from the previous Short Summations series. For instance, uh, a retconned Atrocin from Short Summations Dragon Ball Fighters, which of course, again, will be retconned, but seeing that I've had so much fun with Atrocin and his, his, uh, his climax wasn't really like, on screen, so I do apologise if Atrocin's death was on screen, but this one, it will feature a brand new story, similar to how Atrocin was portrayed in the Shortster plays, but for the Shortster Mations version, it will be slightly altered to ensuring that Atrocin gets the respect he deserves. The next one is, of course, from a... Uh, I think from the Short Summations next movie, or the next Short Summations the movie, and this next OVA is going to be about Aspara. Now, again, Aspara uh, in the original movie was a Saiyan, but because I'm trying to make everything original and not trying to like infringe any copyrights by making Aspara a Saiyan, I'm instead going to change Aspara's origin a bit slightly. Uh, is Power Ups, it will be the same, but it will be a slightly different name to what we usually do. It won't be Super Saiyan, it will be something completely different. And uh, everything from his minions, the storyline, uh, it will basically be the same, if not slightly changed due to the retcons. Uh, the third OVA I will be presenting is about the 
one man that appeared in Short Summations Extra, or technically Short Summation Season 5. I know Elliot, that one Elliot was like way too surprised with that, to be fair. And I know I, I tend to like add a series because, you know, uh, many anime creators have inspired me to world build and why, why not extend it for a season further. But the next villain of Short Summations that will be getting an OVA is Wolfgang Tenma. And when I created Wolfgang Tenma, um, it was mainly inspired uh, by the Dragon Ball Super film, but also by um, many like hunters in the anime world. But after doing Short Summations Extra and giving Yami such a beautiful art with her sister... Uh, the idea came to mind, and again, most of it will be retcon. Well, some parts will be retcon. The story will be pretty much the same. But Wolfgang Temp is getting an OVA. The uh, Yami and Yumi arc is getting potentially retconned or even abridged to this OVA. And then, and along with Tenma, um, and this will highly be retconned too because you know Super Saiyans aren't allowed in the world of short summations anymore due to copyright. Um, Zark's brother Zen will also get an OVA, meaning that the finale arc of season three will be abridged once again into a uh, an hour, maybe an hour and ten minute OVA. So, in fact, most of it will be like a at least an hour, maybe I don't know, an hour, up to an hour and a half OVAs. Yeah, that's what I'm going to put out. Just just like the One Piece films, where they have like at least over an hour's worth of content in the OVA. To make sure that it's a it's a decent film with a lot of content to cover, and I hope to do the same with these OVAs. So, um, the finale arc of season three again is going to be abridged, and Zen's going to be the main villain of it. It's going to be really interesting to rewrite a really old arc that I did so many years ago, and I cannot wait to see what kind of outcome it will have at the end eventually. And the final OVA, the final OVA will feature Marcus from the finale of Short Summations Next. Now, uh, the thing about Marcus is I tried to find a appropriate final villain because I already used Ozuma for the halfway point of Short Summations Mirai. And so when I was doing Season 3, I was just thinking, well, I did Ozuma. What can I do for the final few episodes to give it the episode, to give you know the series a little bit of a peaceful and loving ending, as well as a little hint to the um, the shipping between Shun and Susume, and um, from out of the blue and inside my cranium, Marcus was born, and because um, that is also getting bridge again. Um, the Super Saiyans will be retconned, uh, but the story will entirely remain the same, if not changed due to contents, due to copyright. So most of these OVAs um, are going to be like retcon because due to copyright. But this nice little collection will bring back some old memories to the old short summations. If not, it will make them even better than they once before. But whether it be me, Short Summations Mirai, the movie, all the OVAs, I cannot wait to share them all with you. And I cannot wait to get into production each and every one of them to make them perfect for my, to the fans of Short Summations, to the fans of Short Two Point Five, and the family that you guys are today, you guys and gals are. And, I'm, and I do hope to continue to bring you more updates on that in the later future. Next thing we'll be talking about on the agenda is the progress on the Marvel show. As well as a brand new Marvel movie that is also in production, to which a teaser trailer was released this Halloween, known as Sean Park as Spider-Man Sean Parker. Sorry, I got the two mixed around for a second there. Now, most of you may be wondering, uh, for those who have seen the anniversary update video, um, I did say that I was going to be doing a show that introduces multiverses. Um, of different Marvel characters and maybe even some new original concepts which are based off the world of Marvel Comics. So don't worry, all rights go to them, no problem. This is basically a interpretation, but they all goes to Marvel Comics. All rights, they all go to them. Those legendary writers and comic artists that have worked countless hours to give us such entertainment. And this series is a somewhat homage to all their amazing work as well as the movies that were released by Marvel Studios. But the reason why I teased this Spider-Man film before the new Marvel show is because while I was doing a little 
layout to what I was going to do with this new Marvel show. I felt it too soon to introduce the multiverse um, too early, should I say, too early. Uh, because um, while I was doing Sean Parker's Spider-Man, who was highly referenced in Shorts to Play Spider-Man, The City That Never Sleeps, which of course he's now getting his moment in the spotlight, with this movie, I intend it to be sort of a prologue to the new Marvel show. So after his two over two hour film, uh, that's when we can move on to the multiverse and it will all be teased via a post credit scene, mid post credit scene, but it will open a brand new possibility. It will open the universe that Sean Parker is completely unaware of. And the new Marvel show itself will feature all these amazing Marvel characters. Again, I'll keep you updated on that, but uh, a trailer will be coming out in Christmas to better explain what I mean. But all I could I'd say to that is there's going to be carnage. Carnage is going to return. Is he going to be the main villain? Well, I've been looking at most Spider-Man media to make an original story. And uh, there was one character in particular that gave people nightmares growing up. Uh, and for this movie, and especially it being revolving around carnage and the symbiotes... Um, all I could say is, is that he is coming back from the 2000 era. A, a original character from the 2000 era is coming back. Again, it, it all rights go to Marvel Comics, but um, the interpretation I'll be bringing to this 2000 era character, it will be scary, or just just be scary as the original, but hopefully his return will bring many cheers to the fans of the old PS1 Spider-Man games. Wink, wink. And I'll continue to update you on the Marvel show as the years go by, don't you worry. And as a little special update on what games are going to be appearing in 2022, um, I'm happy to announce that the Neptunia series is coming back. Yep, Neptune's coming back for the lineup, and it is going to be in the form of Neptune x Senran Kagura Ninja Wars, which... Of course, Senran Kagura is another series entirely which was introduced to the channel, but I was a little bit not sure about you know, bringing Senran Kagura into the world due to YouTube's heavy and tight restrictions. But with it crossovering with the Neptunia series, I feel like it's a safe bet, fingers crossed. But the fact it is a Neptunia game, it's coming out also on the PS4, so that means I can I can I can play it for the channel hopefully after One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Uh, it will be a while before we get to the PS5, but don't worry, once it comes out, Miles Morales is definitely up first. But yeah, Neptune, Vert, Blonde, and Noir are coming back along with the Senran Kagura cast. Now, um, for those who are wondering about Senran Kagura, it is basically a a free-for-all brawling game where you play as female ninjas and you go I forget well it's basically like Dynasty Warriors of anything else or One Piece Pirate Warriors it's exactly like that and the Neptunia games have done this before with Mega Tank Men Ugh, can't speak today Mega Tank Mansion Blonde and Hyper Dimension Neptunia U Unleashed which was also a Dynasty Warriors like game so having these two games fuse into one um, it's a Neptunian game, and it's also a Senran Kagura game, so it will be the first Senran Kagura game for the channel, so, uh, it's pretty much a win-win situation, what you can do, but, uh, I'm re I'm sure that Nep is really happy to see you all again, and I cannot wait to, uh, bring the Neptunian series back into the world of Shorts to 2.5 for 2022, it's gonna be so good to have it back. It's been so long, because, um, basically, for the whole of 2021, Neptune, along with her CPU pals, have been taking a little break in 2021. So having her back in 2022 will make a grand return for the Purple Hair Cutie. Um, I really hoped that uh, Netgear, along with the other CPU candidates, would make it as playable characters. But nevertheless, I'm looking forward to playing this game. Idea Factory, Compile Heart. Uh, I really do hope that even though it does not have an English dub, it will still bring a lot of feels to my heart as it did with both versions of Mega Dimension Neptune, and I cannot wait to play it. And I cannot wait to share it with all of you. It's going to be so fun, and I cannot wait to... Yeah, I just can't wait. It's going to be so fun.
And the last topic, but certainly not least, uh, and this is going to be quite an interesting one. So for those who know the existence of a couple of what-ifs that I did back in the past, which are basically centered around Yu-Gi-Oh, based around the Arcadia movement, and how Dual Academy invaded the world of Zexal, uh, this one is going to be quite a doozy. So after I was watching a couple of shows on Disney+, Plus a.k.a. What If and Star Wars Visions, the idea came to mind is that what what if I can, I can like bring back the what-if scenarios, but not just at Yu-Gi-Oh!, but at all kinds of different franchises, which are not made for kids. i just like to point that out, because obviously uh, the, the, peop- the ladies and gentlemen of Copa will have my hair in a barbecue, and heaven forbid we want any of that on our plate. But nevertheless, uh, this new series will allow you, my friends and family, to create your own what-if scenarios, to which I will be reading out, and of course there will be a video release, hopefully starting in January 2022, uh, This when the series is going to be released. But along with uh, at least a couple more Yu-Gi-Oh! scenarios, there is a couple more that will be coming out in the future. Now, 13 episodes have already been laid out. They've already been set or ready to go. But then when I, after I finished it, I thought, you know, if it's going to be a new series and it's going to be a full what-if scenarios, then I really would like to hear your ideas. So, in the community tab, I did set something out where if you have a what-if scenario, it could be from any series, it could be from any anime, any movie... Uh, any characters you want saving who within that respective movie, and then I would go to work on that. I would work on the episode, and uh, that is the perfect recipe for a perfect what if. But seeing as that that you have pr- pretty much been watching this video so far, it's only right if I give you a couple little previews on what you could expect from these brand new sets of what ifs. So, uh, the official episode third the. The first 13 titles of these new What If, which, of course, there there will be infinite with your support. No worries. There's plenty of room for possibility. And I'd like you to, you know, like, like you to know that because um, in the world of the multiverse, there are infinite possibilities. And I cannot wait to, sh- to uh, share the people of the world all these amazing ideas with the world with the world, all the ideas that came from your mind, that came from your fan fictions and bring them all into one series there will be a video that will be released every so often but uh you know, just because that your video wasn't shown yet it will be released in a future video so don't you worry everyone will get their chance to um have their story put in there is no holds barred it could be anything you want and without any further ado and um, before this video ends allow me to give you a little preview or episode titles on what you can expect for the brand new set of what ifs, with episode one being what if Lop rescued Luke Skywalker, which of course Lop is a character from Star Wars Visions, which of course the episode from Star Wars Visions really touched my heart. And in this story, she's going to be rescuing Luke Skywalker, but from what? Only time will tell. Another what if, well, the next two what ifs, I won't go into the spoilers because they continue on from that what if, but it is going to be revolving around the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Uh, which, of course, was a a fan favourite by most Star Wars fans or film watchers. But hopefully with this brand new What If, starting with What If Lop Rescued Luke Skywalker, uh, I hope that this rewrite, this entire overhaul of the sequel trilogy, will hopefully please the fans, as well as the people who really do enjoy a good What If, and we all do enjoy a good What If. I really hope you enjoyed the show. The next What If that is being revealed, that is coming up after the trilogy of Star Wars films, or the Star Wars What Ifs anyway, is What If Killmonger from the Marvel Cinematic Universe was given a second chance during the events of Black Panther. It's a very interesting concept, and I did, um, went over this beforehand before putting this idea down, but... Although Killmonger isn't the most trustworthy of characters, I do hope that this little rewrite will hopefully give him a second chance. I mean, it will. Be, I mean, I don't know if Quicksilver's alive in his universe, but we can only hope. The next one, uh, I think, is going to be number five. Is what if Alfred became the Batman? Now, as I was driving, I was I was in somebody's car. I had a discussion 
with a person who was driving that car and he, a certain someone had a little idea of what if the butler of Bruce Wayne became the Batman. A very interesting concept. Uh, it's a very interesting concept to figure it out, but hopefully I will get into that, to the awesomeness of what it can present. The other two are, well, the next one, episode six and seven, will be revolving around Yu-Gi-Oh! Art 5. Again, I won't spoil it for people who have not seen Yu-Gi-Oh! Art 5, but uh, one of them is going to be uh, mainly focusing on the female protagonist. The other one is going to be focusing on the male protagonist being Yuya Sakaki and Zuzu Boyle, respectfully. The eighth episode that will be coming out, again, this is revolving around a Star Wars Visions character, you know, happily called F from the Village Bride episode. And this What If is going to feature What If F meet Ezra Bridger from Star Wars, Star Wars Rebels, sorry. I'm st- oh, when I, when I get lost in thought, my mind just goes all in the air. But um, while I was doing Lops What If, um, you know, and since Star Wars Visions had plenty of potential for upcoming shows, maybe even continuations of stories for a second season. So as a little homage to Star Wars Visions, why not implement their characters into the main Star Wars timeline, and if Lop can fit with Luke Skywalker, then why not F with Ezra Bridger? And the ninth episode, uh, the which is it's going to be revolving around what if a what if a ro- revolving around Marvel's what if, and it is going to be what if the Guardians of the Multiverse had to face their Thanos uh, after the after the finale events of what if, which again I will not spoil for those who have not seen what if. Um, after they defeated a certain someone, what would happen if they had encountered their Thanos in their own individual universes with the knowledge they have attained in the finale? Now, that is going to be quite interesting indeed. And for the 10th episode, um, uh, oh, wow, I, uh, I know it's going to be a little hard to say it. This is going to be hard to say it, but the 10th what if? is going to be, what if Sonichu was rewritten? Now, before before anything, I just want to clarify, um, this channel does not cover anything Chris Chan related. This what if is revolving around Sonichu, not Chris Chan, Sonichu. This is going to be a Sonichu what if and nothing else, which of course Chris Chan would happily say in issue zero of Sonichu, which of course, thanks to YouTubers like Dumsville, I was able to find this thing. And as I did, I know Chris Chan, while creating Sonichu, merged both Sonic and Pikachu together. But with this Sonichu rewrite, I intend to make them again original. And of course, the designs of these characters I will be happily adapting from Courtney Project SNT, which of course the redesigns are absolutely gorgeous. It made them all the more original and easy on the eyes too, because, well, while Chris Chan did do his best in creating these characters, it's all good. But what if it could be better and a lot more original and less copyrighty? There's only one way to find out. But I'd just like to clarify once again, um, there is not going to be a Chris Chan video. This is only going to be the only Sonichu video on this channel. After this video, after this What If comes out, there'll be nothing Sonichu related, there'll be nothing Chris Chan related. This is simply a rewrite, kind of like a reboot, like what they did with... Okay, let me... Uh, let's see, what can I think about that would be a comparison to the situation? Just, uh... Let's take, for example, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We all love them. They were a quirky bunch of turtles, and their cartoon series was absolutely amazing. But then Michael Bay came along and remade that. But don't worry, it's definitely not that this uh, Sonic Shoot rewrite isn't going to be Michael Bay. It is simply a reboot, a writer's interpretation of what would happen if Sonic Shoot was set in a different world, had completely different origins, while still maintaining some elements from the Sonic Shoot comics... But at the same time, making it so that Sonichu was the hero and not Chris Chan. Because the original the original comic revolved around uh, Chris Chan and his battle of the trolls. But this will focus on Sonichu as he finds his identity in the world, what he was meant to do, and how he zapped to the extreme. I can't believe I say that. 
But hopefully with this rewrite, it will be a beautiful story and it will hopefully bring in uh, some Sonic 2 fans alike. And I get, just like to point out once again that this is a Sonic 2 video, not a Chris Chan video. And after this, there will be nothing Sonic 2 related, nothing Chris Chan related. But I digress. The next one, the just two more to go. And the next what if is going to be revolving around what if Superman and Lex Luthor were brothers, which of course is a very interesting concept. What if like Clark Kent landed in like Lex's hometown when they grew up together as adopted brothers. But then there's going to be a little bit of a twist, a little twist that will really play on the feels. And um, uh, I hopefully it will work out. And then the second to last is going to be what if the Mott Buster heroes formed a team? That means that the Amazing Bulk, Metal Man, um, any Mott Buster hero that you can think of, uh, yeah, they're going to get into a little bit of a multiversal situation and they're going to form a team. I know their movies were not meant to be taken seriously. Some of them not... Uh, some of them... Not particularly good with some as it was with others, but hopefully with this what if, maybe it might bring their, maybe it might bring them all together and hopefully give them somewhat of an identity. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And the last idea before all of you have your own ideas to set into. Again, um, you're more than happy to um, type your idea in the community tab, which I will be sending at the time I am uploading this video. Or if you're watching this video, it's already up there now. So if you want to write down any what if idea, again, it has to be not made for kids due to Copa. But the final idea, and this is revolving around the world of Injustice Gods Among Us, and it will be what if Superman didn't kill the Joker? Now, uh, as we all know, or for some who don't know, uh, in another universe, the Joker was killed by Superman, thus starting the war between Superman, Superman's regime and Batman's insurgents. And uh, this story basically tells what would happen if Superman didn't do that. What if he didn't start the regime? What if he didn't kill all those prisoners out of rage because he accidentally killed his wife? An interesting concept. Uh, there's going to be some characters that weren't featured in the original Injustice story, much as what they did with the animated one when they added Plastic Man. But hopefully, this one it will be. It will be interesting to do. But once it's done, I can't. I can't wait to show it to you, and I hope it will be an amazing show all the same. And with that final update, uh, I believe that is the end of another update video. For those who have watched this video all the way to the end, I really do thank you for all your support in watching this video to the very end. I really I really appreciate that. Uh, I know it was uh, longer than expected, but yet again, uh, I that was kind of my fault for not doing any short summations to be right updates beforehand. And since the year was closing in, um, again, I thought, why not put all those big updates into one? ready ready for i think nearing the end of the year because chris the christmas hiatus it's not too long now uh it's it's pre pretty much gonna start when the week of uh spider-man no way home comes out which um it's it's really not too bad it's only a couple of weeks but have no fear there'll be plenty of content hopefully i'll finish demon slayer the hino kami chronicles by the end of that year but also bring a little surprise from dragon ball Zverse 2 or onwards to finish off the year right but for everybody watching and who have watched this video so far and for those who have supported me through thick and thin as i have supported you through thick and thin thank you so much for watching this video and if you did enjoy it as well as the content that's yet to come for the end of this year and 2022 on we'll be sure to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming soon and really i'm looking forward to sharing all these amazing surprises with you and hopefully i'll be able to bring in more short summations me right update me Maybe a couple of little sneak previews on the villains that are going to be presented in the series. It's all good. It will be sorted out. No worries. There will be plenty more surprises. And I'll be sure to keep you in touch with more Mirai updates in the future. But from everyone here at Shorts Super 5, as well as everyone from the Mass Legion and everyone in the Shorts Super Patrol, thank you so much for joining with me to, in watching another update video. I will, I will try to do more update videos more in the in the majority of 2022 but thank you so much for watching i'll see you all next time and stay tuned for the next episode of hinokami chronicles as we are now approaching the mugen train arc i really hope you do enjoy the show and i look forward to seeing you there
thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you all have a nice week and uh, um, ha have a nice happy Thanksgiving too, of course, if you live in America or enjoy, or enjoy Thanksgiving in the country that you're living in. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time for more content coming soon to end the year off, along with the content that's to come in 2022. Hope you all have a safe week, everyone, and thanks for watching the video. We'll see you all next time. Bye!